Hello and welcome to Steve McDonald's Arts and Crafts. Um, as you can see, I've got another box here, but this time it's got a flat flush lid. Because what I want to do is I want to resin the top. So what I've learnt from the last one that I did is that firstly this needs sealing. Because if you don't seal it, then sometimes your colours can run. But also you get very little tiny micro bubbles coming up as well through this wood because it's obviously it was only four pounds it's only plywood so what i've done is to make life easier i've taken all the hinges and the clasp off and i've put them in a little box so it's nice and safe because if not i will lose them i know what i'm like so now i can do the lid and the box separately so i have mixed up my resin already okay as you can probably see here and i haven't actually worried too much about the bubbles for it this time because those bubbles aren't going to be there once I've painted it. So I'm just painting this resin on and what it will do is it will seal this wood nicely because what I have found before is that if I don't seal the wood before either the colours run or little micro bubbles start appearing in the resin because it is quite porous. The wooden box is now um, nicely cured, so all the resin that I put over the top of it is cured and it's sealed it nicely. And I went round all the sides as well um, and give it a really good um, curing. So this is all nicely sealed. So what I'm now going to do is I'm going to be putting a darkish red in, uh, resin pour on the top here. I'm going to let that cure for a little while. And then I've cut these out of aluminium cans using my Sizzix die cutting machine. And I'm going to pop these in the resin once it's started to cure a little bit, like this. And that's... And I've painted these black, obviously, and these ones are, are gold. So once the... Um, resin is started to set up and cure then I'll put these in and then they'll lay nice and flat and then once it's cured then I'll pour a nice clear coat over it as well. So I've got my colours mixed up now and what I've got is I've got a light blue, a dark blue and a very dark blue because I want it to look like a quite a night scene and I'm going to go from darker to lighter as we go up because this is actually where I've got here would be the what you would look at the front of the box and I do want it to go over the sides um, so we literally just need to pour now so this is the very dark blue and what I'm using is I'm using resinate pigments and they're brilliant you only need a little bit so I've used some midnight blue in that and a tiny bit of black to uh, darken it right off. So I'm going to pour that on there like that. And I want the base bit to be this darker um, blue. Okay. And let that do its thing for a minute or two. And because we've sealed this wood already with resin, um, we shouldn't get many bubbles come up from the actual wood itself. Although there are quite a few bubbles in the mix where I've mixed it. So now I'm going to just slightly overlap that as well. And this is the darker blue. That uh, medium blue, sorry. <laughs> my little dog is outside scrapping she wants to come in but she can, cannot come in when I'm doing resin little toad she can come in if I'm making cards or if I'm cutting out or doing anything else but not when I'm doing resin so there we go so let's spread that over there quite a bit okay and then I've got what I consider to be a light blue and what I used for that was mostly glacier blue resin 8 pigment mixed with a very tiny bit of the midnight blue and it's giving me this colour here
Okay. There we go. So what I'm also going to be doing is bringing some of this through here to break up that line and the same here as well slightly break up that line make sure I'm getting my sides okay to start with it's important I think to get your sides because you don't want any wooden bits showing through or well, I don't anyway and I'm not going to torch this yet I'm just going to let it sit there for a second while I do this now I know it will run down these sides but if I put a bit of resin that's already run off onto the sides it will run a lot easier there we go okay so now I'm going to use my heat gun not only will that kill all those bubbles, kill those bubbles. But it will also help me to blend this in. Now with resin 8 pigments, they generally make some great cells as well. I want that, that's it, because I want that to look like dark clouds coming up here. okay and as you can see the cells are starting to build up in that um, what I would consider to be a sky area and I have got a hair there so I'm going to take that out that's the last thing I want there so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to let this cure for probably about I don't know, three or four hours before I put the embellishment, embellishment, embellishment in it. Okay, and uh, then I'm going to put the bits on it that I showed you earlier, and um, then I'll let it cure properly, and then I'll go over it with um, a clear coat. Okay, so this has now gone really, really sticky. It's well on the way to um getting cured to be getting cured sounds like it's got an illness so now i'm going to pop these on and i was just going to say i'm going to pop these on gently and evidently i'm not because i just messed that up but that is that will be fine so let's pop that in Now, because these are made of um, cans and not paper, they will bend up a little bit. But I'm not. I don't worry about that too much because um, I am going to put a clear coat over the top of it anyway. But I just want them to be stuck down as best as possible. So the Happy Christmas is going there. Merry Christmas is going there. And the Season's Greetings is going there. Okay. And let's just get a little stick and push that down. These ones are fairly flat. I've had a weight on them. 
Um, but the, the bigger one at the bottom didn't seem to want to play ball as much. So, here's the daddy reindeer. He's going there. Here's the little babby reindeer. Going there. And the little mummy reindeer. She's going there. Okay. Coat, which was a clear coat. Now, the lights are quite bright in here that I use for filming, so I'm hoping that that's not reflecting too much. And there we go. I hope you've enjoyed this. This has been real labour of love, this box. But it's been one I've really enjoyed doing, so I hope you've enjoyed watching this video as much as I've enjoyed making it. Thank you very much, and Merry Christmas. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like, and share this video as much as you can to help my channel grow. Bye.